What is up guys? Welcome back to Overspray. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a question that I have seen on my videos and uh, previous comments. And one of them has to do with, is it worth painting a car in a home garage? So we're going to go ahead and dive deep right into this one. And uh, well, it's going to get interesting. First and foremost, let me start off by saying a, a little bit of a backstory behind this car. So I purchased this car about two years ago. I paid $1,800 and yes, this is an original EM1. If you're, don't, if you're not familiar what an EM1 is, it's a 99 to 2000 Honda Civic. This has a the V16 engine, original VTEC V16 engine uh, from the factory. They only made it two years uh, with this particular uh, model and engine. Uh, configuration and uh, well it's considered a rare car you cannot find this car uh, well very cheap these days because they are actually going up in value like crazy just like all these other used cars as well but some of these cars can go upwards of about twenty thousand dollars so me picking it up for eighteen hundred dollars that was a steal that was a good deal but of course the paint is trashed. This thing needs mechanical work. It still needs suspension work. It needs a clutch. I mean, it needs a lot of work. So I took on this project knowing that, well, it's gonna, it was gonna need a lot of work. So the first thing I did is, well, got a quote from a body shop to see how much it would actually cost me to paint this car. And well, let me just say that the quote was about six to $7,000 to paint this car. And well, that was more than what I spent on the car to begin with. So I didn't really see that as an option. So I went ahead and shopped around and went to other body shops. They wouldn't even look at the car. They would say, you know what? It needs a full respray. It needs body work through the entire car, sorry we don't do full resprays and that's just the thing a lot of body shops will not do full resprays on a car that is considered a full restoration and well a lot of these body shops won't do a full um respray or full restoration on a car it's just not cost effective for some of those body shops so i took on the project and uh, decided to paint it myself and do all the work myself. I already knew how to paint. I just wanted to see how much it would actually cost me. And now as you guys can also know, red is also a very expensive uh, color for paint. Is uh, It's probably one of the most expensive colors uh, at that. And well, uh, yeah, so <laughs> that's, that's where we're at right now. And well, let me just show you my most recent paint job. Let's go ahead and talk about some of the defects in it. And then also we're gonna be uh, cutting and buffing this roof and seeing how good of an end result you can actually get from a garage paint job. All right, so this is a little bit of a before. Now, as you guys can see, I actually polished this area just to see what it would look like and how well I could get some of those sanding marks out. Now you guys can actually see some of those sanding marks right there. You could actually see some orange peel and uh while well, the camera is hopefully can focus on some of that orange peel you could also see some uh dirt nibs as well and well all these little flat spots that's actually where i've sanded the dirt nibs out and uh well this thing is ready for the next stage of sanding so i'm gonna go ahead and sand this entire roof of this car cut and polish if you will or cut and buff and you guys are going to see the end result of what a garage paint job looks like before and after if you just spend a little bit of time uh, while correcting some of these uh, dirt nibs.
Alrighty guys, so I am done with the uh, compounding stage, the cutting and buffing, if you will. This one is, uh, I was using the Ultra Cut Compound from Meguiar's. This is number 105. As you guys can see, it is a very aggressive uh, cut and this thing makes for easy work. And uh, well, let's go ahead and check out the paint job now. Remember guys, this is the first stage of uh, basically the polish. And as you guys can see, we have basically a mirror finish. Now there is a little bit of dust here because it's, uh, it's a little bit of static, but you guys can see damn near a mirror. You can see the reflection. Uh, well, maybe you can't see the reflection. There you go. And let me get some of that crap off uh, but you guys could see how crystal clear that paint looks just oh my gosh and uh it looks like there's a bunch of there's a bunch of defects but there's not because uh it's just dust landing on a perfectly flat surface check that out guys of course, same with the front as well. You guys can see that little beautiful reflection. Now this is, like I said, the first stage, the very first stage. Check that out. So I'm telling you guys, you guys can make a garage paint job look like a body shop did it with a little bit of extra work, okay? Don't be afraid that, oh, I got, uh, you know, I get dust nibs in my paint job and therefore I'm gonna stop garage painting because I got a little bit of, of trash in my paint job. Trust me guys, this thing had a lot of trash on the uh, surface of the paint. I went ahead and denibbed everything, cut and buffed, used 2000, then 3000, and then finally the uh, Meguiar's Heavy Cut Compound. And this is where I stopped, oh, shit. This is where I stopped at the moment. Sorry about that. Ooh, I think I might have scratched it. Nah, just kidding. Um, but anyway, this is where I stopped because, uh, well, it's getting a little late. It's uh, starting to rain outside. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's starting to rain outside. So I'm gonna call it quits for tonight. But you can absolutely make a garage paint job look like a freaking show car. Um, it's just gonna take a little extra work. Don't be afraid to do a little bit extra work to get the results that you want. Um, you know, like, I, I don't see why somebody would stop painting because of a little bit of dust nibs and stuff in their paint job. Now, if this is your personal car, great. You could spend the time and spend, you know, the money on the products to make this thing look like a million bucks. But of course, if you're doing this as a side hustle and you got a lot of trash in your paint jobs and stuff like that, um, the best thing I can recommend is fix your environment. Uh, make a makeshift paint booth. So I don't know if you guys can see right here, but this is actually part of a canopy that I made into a um, basically a pop-up spray booth. Um, and it helped with uh, dust. It helped with uh, not getting any trash, with bugs, um, but the only thing of it is, is I could only spray like bumpers and fenders and stuff like that because it's only a 10 by 10. So it's very, very small, very, very limited. So if you're spraying, <coughs> if you're spraying parts, I would say get a makeshift spray booth, uh, you know, put an extraction fan and also a good, um, uh, airflow through the little canopy, seal everything up, wet the floor. And trust me, you guys will get one of some of the cleanest paint jobs in a garage. Now, like I said, this one is, well, I didn't do all that, right? Because, well, I got a lot of space. Well, I don't have a lot of space, but I would say I have a lot of car and not enough space is what I was trying to say. Um, so yeah, it's kind of hard to, to spray a, a uh, roof when you don't have the space, right? Um, this, this garage is literally a 10 by, I believe 15 or 10 by 20 maybe. Um, so not a lot of space. Um, so I'm very limited to what I can do in here. Uh, but as you guys can see, check that out. You guys can pump out 
some killer paint jobs if you just take the time to make it look the way you want it to. Hey guys, so you guys saw the end result. The Honda Civic Project Cars roof looks fantastic. It looks like a, a restoration shop painted this roof. Honestly, it looks amazing. Now we can make the rest of the car look exactly like that. If we just take a little bit of time to actually make it look like that by cutting and, and cutting and buffing or cutting and polishing, if you will. Um, now, like I said, is it worth spending the time to make, uh, well, to garage paint job, basically? Is it worth doing your own paint job in your home garage? That's the ultimate question. And I'm going to say absolutely yes. Um, even though, you know, materials are pretty expensive, um, you're going to probably spend, I don't know, uh, just throw a number out there. I probably have about 800 bucks in paint. Um, that in, is including the uh, Uricam base, the Uricam clear. Um, I even bought some more clear. We're talking about sandpaper. Um, I even bought a new sander. Um, you know, if you don't have all the tools, it does get pretty expensive. All right. If you don't have an air compressor already, yes, the, the cost is going to be substantially higher. Right. But <clears throat> I would say just in paint alone, um, and, or all the materials, I should say, I have about 800 bucks in it. And this car is starting to come out looking like, like a show car almost. Um, now, are there some defects? Absolutely. There's still a little bit of nibs that I just, I'm not going to be able to get out. That's just, that's just the name of the game. But honestly, you guys saw it. It looks almost perfect. Almost perfect. It looks like a, a professional painted this, but nobody... If I took this car to, uh, you know, a car show or something, nobody would know it was painted in the garage. People would think, hey, you know, what what uh, shop did you take it to to go get it painted? People, you know, this when you tell them that this car was painted in a home garage, people would not believe you. They would be like, no way. There's absolutely no way. It looks too good. And that is the type of result you can actually get with just putting a little bit of more effort into, well, getting it to look like that. And, um, you know, as far as cost wise, like I said, 800 bucks is really not that much when you look at how much it actually costs you to take this car to a body shop or to a restoration shop to get it painted. You're talking about thousands of dollars. Not only that, there's also the, um, the fact that you're going to be learning skills. So if you've never painted before, you're going to learn by practicing, by doing, by, you know, watching YouTube videos, either my channel or other uh, other channels out there and learn a skill. There's a, um, <clears throat> there's kind of like a, uh, that rewarding factor, knowing that you did it yourself with your own hands, your own set of skills and your own knowledge and in a home garage, in a home garage, guys. So absolutely, yes, it is 100% worth painting a car in your home garage. Of course, if you already have the tools, if you already have the basics, you know, an air compressor, a good air filtration system, and of course, you know, your safety protection. And of course, then you're talking about spray guns, you know, you're talking about your Vilbis or your SATA or whatever gun you like to spray or whatever brand you like. Um, honestly, it is 100% worth it. And with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Stay spraying. Once I get finished with the polishing, I'll do a short video and show you guys uh, what it ends up looking like uh, once I do the uh, final polish. Unfortunately, like I said, the polishing pad that I got uh, for the final polishing is, is not good right now. So I actually have to go buy another one, which I'm kind of kicking myself a little bit because I was actually at Harbor Freight uh, earlier today and I just... It totally passed my mind to pick up a, a polishing pad. So unfortunately, uh, we're going to have to leave it on the compounding stage for now. But anyways, it's still a great, fantastic uh, result. And uh, I'm glad I could share that with you guys. So anyways, stay spraying. Catch you guys on the next one.